Hi, this is Mark from Show Me Construction, and today I'm going to take out this niche and we're just going to put drywall up, insulate it and drywall it, just to have it. We want a solid wall. Anyway, I'm going to get started. I'm cutting the caulk away in the corners so it doesn't tear up. Well, mainly, it's a, one thing I'm mainly worried about is cutting the caulk in the corners right here where the drywall is so I don't peel the paper away. That's, that's why you cut. You just cut the corner with the drywall knife. I got this little portable sawzall. And I got, got the wood out. I'm going to put a nailer all the way around to attach my drywall and then I'm going to put the stud 16, about 16 inch centers here so I can insulate between them and then put my drywall up. I'm going to screw these down now. These, these studs here, and I'm going to put them flush with the back of the drywall so when I screw my piece of drywall up, it'll be flush with this drywall. Typical wall is spaced 16 inches on center of the studs, but I have such it's it's not 48 inches wide, so I'm just going to put two studs about 12 inches apart just to fill it in to give my drywall support. It's not very wide. These are three inch quick screws with a combo, a combo head. And I, I just use these instead of nails. It's just, uh, I don't have to beat on it so much. And it's just quicker, I think. For me anyway, I like it. 
your wood stays where, where you want it, screw it in. Well, I got this now that I frame. Now I'm going to put the insulation in here. And then I'm going to put the drywall up. Okay, the reason this, this is insulated is because it's an exterior wall. If this would have been an interior wall, I wouldn't have insulated it. I'm ready to start loading it out. Now, I could just put regular drywall mud here. I like to tape with regular drywall mud because it has, it has adhesives in it rather than hot mud. But I'm gonna use hot mud first. I'm gonna go over this with five minute mud to fill in all these gaps because I could just put regular drywall mud in here and tape it. But as the regular drywall mud dries, it shrinks and then it'll leave a divot here that I've got to go over and over again to fill up. And so actually you're, I'm going to get a better joint if I fill all this in and make a smooth plane here first with hot mud. Uh, so I'll use five minute hot mud first to give myself an even plane and then I'll tape it. But you'll see that as you're, as you're watching this video. When I screwed those in, it actually sucked the drywall down to the wood and popped some nails. And so I drive those back in. That's another reason I put the screws in it because working on a wall, it can actually loosen it up if it's nailed. And so that's why I screw those back down. And now I'm going to take my knife and clean this up and, and I'll show you how to do that here. And then I'll put the five minute mud in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I clean all this off because it's just going to mess up my joint. Clean all this new stuff off. And there's a nail. So you want you want anything loose to come off. You want it to come off. You don't want it to come off in your mud. So you want it to come off now. See all that stuff would have got right inside my mud. Paste. Not really runny. If it's really runny, it's it's not going to work for you. 
this could be thicker even, but since it's five inch mud, it's going to start setting up. And really, all you want to do, you're just trying to fill in that divot. So you slap it in there to get it inside. And that's all we're trying to do. We want, we're not trying to build it up. We're just trying to make it flat so we can tape it. you can use, but it just takes longer to set up. This one, as soon as I get this done, I can start putting tape to it on. This five minute mud, when it dries, it kind of divots, but that's why I just keep going around, throwing that in to make a level plane. finished drywall mud and uh, I'm just going to use this at, at, at its full strength here I'm not going to thin it down because I only use this really to tape it's not going to take a lot this this joint compound has adhesives in it that tape with it here. Whereas hot mud, you can tape with hot mud, but it's not recommended because it could pull loose. Don't tape your joint when it dries you'll have a you know, the line of crack
without putting that, that five minute mud on there first, it wouldn't have gone this well. So now I gotta let this completely dry and then I'll go over it again. I'll feather it out a little bit wider and then lightly sand it and we can prime it and paint it. I'm using 20 minute mud here because it'll dry faster. And it sands real easy. It's mixed up. This, uh, I'm going to make this one a little wider joint. Okay, the drywall portion on this is done. It's just going to have to dry completely and then I'll lightly sand it and we'll prime it and paint it and it'll look like the rest of the wall. Well, this is the spot right here. It's all, we've sanded it, primed it and painted it and it's all done. You can't even tell there was a hole there. Thanks for watching.